have you met a man who will walk into the room and you get a feeling that gosh this guy owns this place have you met a man who's not a true leader but then when you talk to him you get this feeling that he's in total control of things have you met a man who's a corporate lawyer but then a true gambler at heart he is a professional poker person have you met a man who talks 100 hours at work every week still finds time to spend on his expensive and interesting hobbies good afternoon fellow toastmasters and your guests good afternoon. Good afternoon. i present to you the mighty harvey specter from the popular tv series suits you must be wondering tv scenes today is loaded with shows and why is mahesh talking about one harvey specter one character of harvey specter who is fictional but let me tell you even though he is a fictional character he is an idea he is an idea who is awesome i can tell you if i have to describe him to you guys i can tell you he's 6 feet tall he's very handsome he's got cute mole on his forehead his sense of humor is amazing that is not what defines him he is he is a bad ass pack who's packaged in a suit to to tell you more about him i'll tell you a story in one of the one of the series there is a hostage situation a hostage situation where there is a captor and there is a captive since since this guy is a corporate lawyer he is forced upon to walk into this room so without blinking an eye he walks into the room and then starts having a conversation with the captors <coughs> captors are from new york i don't have to tell you drug dealers from new york are notorious dangerous and armed so our man walks into this room which is filled with drugs and ammunition and starts to have a conversation with the captors they don't like it they try to resist but then he moves on has a conversation with them and while while he is doing a conversation he does not blink an eye he sees straight in the eye and then while he is doing it he is analyzing the situation he is seeing what are the stakes on the table what what are things that he can negotiate and in no time let me tell you in no time he comes up with a win win deal imagine a captor and a captive drug dealers and a win win on the go instantaneously this is how harvey specter works his magic i didn't like him the first time when i saw him his character grew upon me currently they are running the seventh season there are about 64 episodes that they have already done from suits so slowly when i started watching him i started to look for a pattern there was a pattern in which he was dealing with his things and i found four of them very interesting the first one was eye contact second one was his dressing third one was stance and the fourth one i forgot <laughs> <laughs> and the fourth one is his gestures let me begin by gestures any of you who have seen harvey specter i don't have to remind you of his famous gesture let me try to enact this life is this and i want this this is something he he reminds you in every episode of suits so he uses effective body language to communicate things both verbal and non non verbal to his clients and opponents so that they are blown away from the pitch dressing he he gives so much importance to dressing that he actually made me wear a suit for the speech i am a man who didn't wear the suit for my reception but then <laughs> after learning it from harvey specter i understood how important is dressing and how people will take you seriously if you are dressed for the occasion the other important thing that i like about him is his gaze his powerful gazing he does both 
social gazing and then he does power gazing. When he's talking to his friends, he'll just drop the eyelids a little bit and then and then make such gestures so that the, the friendly communication goes on. But then when he's sitting with a, a client or an opponent, he will look straight in the eye or maybe their forehead and <coughs> to drive home a strong point. Third one that I said was stance. You know co corporate law, of law firms, they'll have a very spanky conference rooms. All of them, uh, when all of them are sitting inside those conference rooms dealing with their cases <coughs> or with their, uh, or with their uh, conflicts, slowly he will be doing his normal talking when he has to win over his opponents, when he needs a yes. That is when he will raise, stand up tall, use his six feet uh, the post, uh, towering figure and to drive home a point. And every single time he does that, he wins. <coughs> I, want you, I want to leave you with two things. I want to leave you with two things which are very close to my heart. Why I, why I like Harvey Specter. One, life offers us many choices. Life offers us choices to lose small or to win big. Harvey Specter taught me to make an honest attempt to take my chances, take calculated risks, <coughs> and attempt to win big. And the last, uh, the second, uh, the second lesson that he taught me was, when my, when I'm back against a wall, every single time I've done the hard work, I've done my, work, I've done my homework, but still, but then. Even after that, when, when I'm standing against a wall, that is when me, all of you, will drop the guard. We will, uh, we will lose all hope. Harvey Specter taught me from his mindset that whenever you're against, back against a wall, think of ways wherein which you can bring down the wall. Think of ways wherein which those barriers which hold you captive are no longer there. Success, my dear Toastmasters, Awaits us <coughs> beyond the wall. Break your barriers, go out of your comfort zone to meet success. Any GOT fans here? Raise your hands, GOT fans here. Sorry, I was not talking about the white walkers, which is beyond the wall, but I was talking about success, which is beyond the wall. Over to you, those fans.